Quinn, let's hear it, man. How's it feel to be officially part of the Fighting Irish? Uh, it feels fantastic. I can't wait to uh, leave to go out there and compete. National Signing Day passed last month, and all that's behind you. Now you can sit back and relax. How does it feel to just be able to focus on your future and put that stuff behind you? Oh, it's great. I'm uh, working out, doing the Notre Dame strength and conditioning packet now, and it's already paying off and just pre uh, pre preparing myself for when I go out there. Okay. What's your current height and weight right now? I'm 6'5", 305. 305, okay. Now, during your recruitment, was there ever a point where you thought maybe Notre Dame wasn't the place for you and you thought about taking other official visits? Um, not really, no. Because there's obviously, you know, there's a lot of rumors and stuff. Penn State got mentioned, Ohio State. Was there really anything ever to that, or was it you were always pretty firm to Notre Dame? Uh, once I made my commitment, I was pretty committed. Okay. Um, now, play recruiter for a second. You have a 2015 kid looking heavily at Notre Dame, and you obviously committed and signed there. Why should he give Notre Dame a strong look? Uh, because there's no negatives to Notre Dame between the education there, the people there, and the football program and where it's heading. Um had, I guess you could say we had a down year uh, last year um, compared to the, the year before that when we went to, to the national championship, but hopefully we'll stay healthy this year and we have Golson back. I uh, know he's competing with Malik, but we're going to have a great year. Um, shortly after you committed, you camped at Notre Dame. Did you actually work out up there that summer? I think it was in June? Yeah. Okay. Now, did you get a chance to go up against Jonathan Bonner, who actually uh, ended up signing there as well? Do you remember that? No, I don't. Okay, I wasn't sure because I know he tore it up, but I was just curious. Have you developed much of a relationship with those guys? Is there anybody that you kind of got real close with? I know Nick talked about um, getting together with you at the Army Bowl, but who, who did you kind of get closest yeah. to during the process? Uh, Nick and I had a great time at the Army Bowl, and then I'm close with all the other linemen. Um, so that's about it. Offensive line coach Harry Heastan you know, spearheaded much of your recruitment, especially after you were committed, um, and he was influential in your decision. But how much did working with him at the next level um, kind of go and factor into your final decision? Um, it helped a lot. Uh, getting to watch him at practice, um, I just thought, wow, th this coach can make me so much better. Uh, what he's teaching is outstanding, and... Then I got to actually experience it when I went out to camp, and I learned so much, and I was able to use that in my senior year season. You took some unofficial visits. You camped at places. You've gotten to know other offensive line coaches. What stands out a little bit about him um, that's maybe a little different, or you know, what, what kind of led you towards wanting to play for him? Uh, just just his, his teaching, his experience. Uh, he's coaching the NFL. He's, like, all his linemen have gotten drafted uh, when he was at Illinois. And just the, the way he teaches and how he's focused on perfecting reps and not getting a whole lot of reps in, just getting some, like, good quality, quality reps, quality yeah. reps and not quantity. It's okay. awesome. Um, late in the process, were there any schools that came in hard towards signing day trying to get you to flip your decision or at least get you on campus for a visit? Um, no. When uh, coaches called, I basically told them, hey, look, uh, I I'm committed to Notre Dame. There's nothing you can do about it. But, uh, I mean, there were some coaches coming in for other kids uh, in the class below me. So if I... Like, coincidentally, uh, saw them, like Coach Adazia. Like, I saw him, like, a week before signing day. I was just like, hey, how's it going? Can't wait to play you at Fenway Park. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Um, who would you say, outside of Notre Dame, were the schools that really recruited you hard throughout the process? Um, schools would uh, recruit me pretty hard, but the, sc the schools that recruited me the hardest were the ones I showed interest in. Okay. Um, some coaches I just like wouldn't respond to, wasn't interested in, because I was um, my main focus on picking a school was the academics, and that's why I looked at BC. I looked at Northwestern, uh, Penn State. So okay, any idea what you're going to major in when you get up there? 
Uh, most likely business. Business, okay. And in year one, where do you see yourself fitting in at Notre Dame? Do you expect to play? Have you talked to he said about that, redshirting? You know, what, what do you, where do you expect to? Well, uh, I have an, a pretty good chance of uh, playing freshman year. If not, that's fine. I'll take my redshirt year. But I'm just going to go with the mentality that I'm going to try to start and win a job. So Great. And, and due to your size, uh, some are still unsure whether you're going to end up playing tackle or guard at the next level. Can you clear that up a little bit and, and through your conversations with Heastan? Um, I think I'm going to go in there as a tackle. Okay. And then if I, I think during practice he's going to have me play everywhere, not like every other day. He's going to have me learn one pos uh, position and then have me learn another like over time to uh, get my versatility up and uh, I, I just can't wait for that. That's going to help me improve my game too. That's great. It's a good, good attitude to have. Um, outside of your actual commitment to Notre Dame, what would you consider the most memorable moment of your recruitment? Just something that stands out to you. Uh, it had to be my first offer. Uh, Rutgers, uh, sophomore year, April 7th, remember the day. Uh, I just like couldn't believe it. I was shocked, and an uncontrollable smile came to my face. I couldn't hide it. It was awesome. It was a great feeling. You took your official visit to Notre Dame for the USC game. Yes, is that correct. Um, take me through that weekend and and just how that was able to solidify you and wanting to be with the Irish. Uh, it was fantastic. It was a fantastic weekend. Um, <clears throat> went through everything again between the academic support, the academics there, uh, got to see that beautiful Notre Dame campus, um, and then had training table, that's always nice, and got to uh, go on the walk, and that was amazing, uh, walking from the Goog to the stadium with all those fans there. Uh, so I Did think it kind of make you want to put on a uniform that day? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, who was your host that week? It was uh, Mike McGlinchey. Oh, okay. What, and he's, he's pretty local to here and from Philly area. Um, what did you guys talk about? And, and, and how did he tell you about the transition from high school senior, big time, you know, top national target to going in as a freshman and just kind of learning the ropes? Um, well, yeah, I asked him a bunch of uh, questions that uh, pertain to me, but he answered all of them honestly and told me how it is, and it's good. Seemed like he's enjoying himself up there? Oh, yeah. Good. They all are. Um, negative re recruiting, as you know, happens all the time. Um, without naming any names, was there any of that process regarding other schools talking about Notre Dame and trying to get you to flip your commitment and stuff like that? Uh, yeah. Telling me it's in the middle of nowhere. Um, just yeah, some negative recruiting, but you're an Army All-American, so again, congrats on that. It's a big time honor. What did you take away from that week in Texas, um, both on and off the field? Uh, well, on the field, took away the coaching, the whole experience, the the competition, um, both of people I was going against on uh, people go on defense, and then competing against other offensive tackles to start. Um, and then off the field, um, I really just uh, got an appreciation, more of an appreciation for the U.S. Army and what they do for our country. That's great. Um, any idea when you're going to be back up to South Bend for another visit? I, I'm going to go uh, to the Blue and Gold game this Christmas. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. And what are your plans for the next few months to prepare for Notre Dame? And I know you mentioned having the, the, the workout packet. So what do you plan on doing uh, with that and more over the next few months? Well, I'm, I'm doing that, uh, and I my strength and conditioning coach here is really good uh, friends with Coach Longo. Um, so he's been helping me for the last two years, and then I'm going to this other place Tuesday, Thursday for speeding, agility, quickness, change, uh, change of direction, and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday I'm lifting. All right, that's awesome, man. Well, Quentin, I can't, can't thank you enough for having me out here today, man, and I uh, really appreciate it. And again, congrats on signing with Notre Dame. Thank you, Tom. Um, for Red Bank, New Jersey offensive lineman Quentin Nelson, I'm Tom Loy, and thanks for watching.